With Pokemon Mask of Change being one week away, as well as Twilight Masquerade in English being not too far behind it, it seems like an early verdict is already out. People are just not excited about these upcoming sets. If you guys don't know, this set is based around the DLC in the game Scarlet and Violet, which means that it is very Ogre Pawn heavy. For Pokemon to make an entire set based around the DLC, it just seems like the juice really isn't worth the squeeze. I really enjoyed Crimson and Haze. I thought it was an awesome set. I had some insane luck when it came to opening the set and it is the half of Twilight Masquerade. But I think that Twilight Masquerade is definitely going to be the worst set in the Scarlet and Violet era. But if you're a Pokemon investor, I think this is a giant opportunity for you. There's that amazing investment quote, be greedy when others are fearful. And this set is exactly that. So my plan for buying Twilight Masquerade is I'm going to wait a few weeks until those prices are crashed and down because I think this set is going to be sitting around for a while. On the Japanese side of Mask of Change, I have two booster boxes that I can't wait to open up and that's really going to be it for me. You guys gotta remember that sets that people hate before they even come out is just a giant opportunity to buy. On this channel, we don't talk too much about investing. This is definitely going to be the set that I pick up a case and sit on. And in my other videos about Pokemon investing, I'm gonna link that right around here i told you guys that there's always opportunity around you and to not chase pumps like evolving skies and lost origin it's so funny because now looking back at those videos this is exactly the moment that i was talking about and there's always a set like this in every pokemon generation where it doesn't make tons of sense why this booster box even exists because it's just so niche but i think the ones like this that people hate are the gold mines of the era. I've been seeing on Reddit and Discord, this is going to be the set where so many people are going to skip. And I'm wondering what kind of message this will send to Pokemon. I would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I also don't know too much about how this set is when it comes to the game. So if you're a player, give me some insight on what's awesome about Twilight Masquerade. I know that A-Specs cards are going to be in this set as well. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Gen 9. I give it its flowers constantly but i don't really see how people are going to want this set in the long term i also love watching uh, pokemon players online stream scarlet and violet and the dlc and i don't know anyone that actually likes the dlc i think there's one person i met in the comment section last video so shout out to you but how are we feeling are we feeling like this is a good move for pokemon just going down to such a niche game in the DLC. I know Pokemon has done this in Sword and Shield. I know they've done it in past generations where they focused on DLC content and those specific Pokemon. But for a era where people are already kind of staying away from for Pokemon to just double down and kind of funnel into this area, seems like it can get rough. I cannot wait to hear the numbers come out from Pokemon to see how much of this sold. And I'm also very curious from distributors how much people are going to get. I think this is going to be the set that if a company wants to buy, let's say a thousand booster boxes, they're gonna get a thousand booster boxes. They're not gonna hold back. I think this is the set where we're gonna see on sale for a very long time. Again, if you're going to buy singles, just wait out a little bit. Everything's going to be cheap and return to normal as usual don't buy those crazy first day prices and if you're in japanese you're in luck you know that all this stuff is going to be cheap you know the booster boxes i mean i know right now they're going for around 50 bucks but even those prices are gonna fall and everything's gonna be readily available. So if you're not a PokeTuber, if you're not someone that just needs that set at the first day of launch, just have patience, wait a little bit because you will be able to buy at the price that is comfortable for you and for others. So let me know how you guys feel about the set. Are you guys stoked? Are you guys buying as soon as this set drops? Let me know anything in the comment section down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.